I'm Sarah, also known as The Nail Nerd. Thank you for watching my video and I am just so happy that you have stopped by because today I'm going to be showing you this easy little tutorial and it's going to be an introduction to character painting. So together we're going to be painting this gorgeous little mouse creature. The thing that I absolutely love about this style of character painting is the fact that it is so easy to adapt it and come up with so many different animals. So make sure that you have a play around with it and see how many different things that you can actually come up with. You will need to grab a few supplies before we get started though. And everything that I use will be listed in the description below. So make sure you check it out. Okay beauties, you're going to need your favourite shade of gel polish, your TNN gel paint, a palette for mixing your colours, your JGM liner brush and your JGM gel art brush, a matte top coat and your LED lamp. So I want you to go ahead and just measure out a small amount of white gel paint onto your palette and then just dip into the black, we don't want too much, and just mix those together until you've got a light grey shade. I'm going to be using our gel art brush for this part of the designs. So let's begin with the head. Just above the halfway mark up the nail we need to paint a oval shape but make sure it's on a slight angle and make sure that one end is narrower than the other because that's where we're going to paint the nose in. Once we're satisfied with the shape we need to start placing the body. So for the body we're going to paint a round sort of blob shape underneath the head. Make sure it's flatter on the bottom because our little mouse is going to be sitting and we're just going to hint at where the arms and legs are by just painting a curved line on one side. So it's kind of going to flick in. So for the ears, they're pretty straightforward. We just want to paint two little circles above the larger end of the head, okay? So in the center of the nail, we're going to put one ear, and then just below that, we are going to place the second. And pop it in the lamp for one minute to cure. All right, so now what we need to do is just mix a little bit more black in with the gray to make a darker shade of gray because that's what we're going to use to start shading our mouse. So with your darker gray, we just need to paint a thin line down one side of each ear. Once we've done that, we're going to sweep a, a longer line down one side of the mouse's jaw and we're going to extend that line up past the ears. At the end of each line, we need to just ease up on our pressure because that's what's going to allow us to paint a thinner line. All right, guys, when it comes to shading the side of our mouse where the arms and legs are, we just want to tuck the shading in underneath the arm, and that's just going to hint at the arm and the leg. That's the good part about painting cartoons, is you can get away with just hinting at anatomy just by um, doing rough outlines of things without having to go into too much detail. So it can be a lot easier than painting more realistic images. So we need one more line of shading and that is going to tuck in down the uh, mouse's back and it's going to tuck underneath its bottom. So by mixing red and white together we're going to create a soft pink and that's what we're going to use to create the little nose and the inside of the ears. Once we're finished with that, we need to cure it for 30 seconds. Now the only thing left to do at this point is to outline our little mouse and give him a little face. So we're going to start by painting a thin black outline around the mouse. We need to make sure that the lines are thin. So what we need to do is we need to use our little finger to stabilize our hand. Now what I always do is I actually press down quite firmly on my pinky. And what that does is it transfers the pressure out of my hand, out of my fingers that I'm holding my brush, and it transfers that pressure into my pinky so that I'm able to paint thin. With line work, 
if you put more pressure on your brush you're going to get a thicker line so in order to get your lines really thin the key is to not have any pressure at all so pressing down on your pinky is key for that okay it's not enough just to be resting your pinky and stabilizing your hand we actually need to go one step further and press down the tail we're just going to do a black line um, and but we're going to curve it at the end and give it a heart shape so start by doing the heart but make sure that you don't close the heart at the bottom we don't want it to be touching so it's going to look like the tail is actually curving well guys that just leaves us one more thing to do so using your nail nerd gel paint in gold and your liner brush we're just going to paint a thin border around the nail Well guys, all we have to do now is finish our design. So apply a thin layer of gel top coat and then this time we need to cure it for one minute. Okay, but that's it. You're done. You guys have done a spectacular job. I hope you had fun and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.